Now, WireNet Home Service continues to help Southern Colorado communities, and not only by providing all the necessities our homes need, but by making a difference for nonprofit organizations. We're back with Trent Urban, the president of WireNet, and now Dan Saldana is joining us from Fishing Has No Boundaries. Good morning to you both, and thanks for being here. Good morning, Good morning to you. Thank you. Of course. So, Dan, tell us about Fishing Has No Boundaries and what it is you do. Fishing Has No Boundaries was started in 1988 in Hayward, Wisconsin and they've grown to 23 chapters in 13 states. And we have an event that's uh, once a year at Pueblo Reservoir. Okay, so give us a little history of this organization. Well, we, I lived in Minnesota at the time, and my two daughters have spinal muscular atrophy, and they're both in electric wheelchairs, and I was looking for an event to take them to uh, in the summertime. And I heard about fishing, I was no boundaries in Hayward, so I took them to that, and I was so impressed by the event that when we moved to Colorado, I said, there was nothing like that here, and we wanted to start a chapter locally. And this is our 15th year doing oh, so. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And how many people attend uh, your events that are coming up? So when we started, we had three. And last year, we had 45 participants and their families wow. that, that joined us. So all together with all of the volunteers, the boat owners, uh, there was about 250 people. It's grown a lot. Yes, it has. <laughs> so tell us now, what does it take to put on an event like this? We have so many great volunteers that, that help us out through the event uh, that have been with us since the beginning. Uh, but we have to, uh, we start in January, start the planning process, the registration process. Uh, we have to secure the park, uh, all the facilities with the tents and the porta potties, uh, the food vendors, the resource vendors that we use as well. Okay, and what could a new participant expect when they attend one of your events? They can expect a great day on the lake <laughs> because it, is a, it creates memories and we have so many participants that come back year after year and it's the one event that they can truly look towards and their families, we take care of everything for them. Uh, we provide breakfast, uh, the watercraft, lunch, uh, life jackets, fishing rods, uh, everything that they need, they just have to show up and we take care of them uh, from beginning to end. It's going to be a great day on the lake. It is a great day on the <laughs> lake, thank you. Of course, and how many events do you have each year? So we do one uh, fishing event and then we do fundraising events uh, in the wintertime and that's up at 11 Mile Reservoir uh, with the ice fishing contests up there. Okay, yeah. and how can people find more about your September event? So on our website, we have uh, a posting on there and then we also have our Facebook page and Twitter accounts. So. Once we start, we have to secure the uh, event date with the parks first, and then we'll promote that event, and they can look at our website for more details. All right, well, what do you say? We bring in this month's three degree guarantee. Terrific, yeah. All right, and we have with you, of course, Trent, your son this morning. This is my son, Gavin. <laughs> say hi, Gavin. Hi, Gavin. Hi. <laughs> As he's standing, throwing me all down. And this yeah. is great, and just tell us how uh, this will help you and your organization. Well, first of all, thanks to Trent and WireNet Services for this generous donation. It's yeah. awesome. And one other individual that's one of our sponsors, or a, a, he supported our organization, Jeremy Reese, was the one that nominated us for this event. So I got to say thank you to Jeremy because it's awesome. Yeah. Uh, never had anything like this before. Uh, it'll help to support our event for September 17th of next year uh, with the food purchases because we have to buy all the food and everything else for everybody. Great, and Trent with WireNut Home Services, thank you for being here. We have all thank the you. awards up here, by the way, we now. We do. Uh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, the last, the last uh, segment we did, it was, we were a little bit rushed, yeah. but yeah, here we are with all of them. And so what does it mean to you to be able to give this? To be able to give this? Yes, to help local charities in our area. It's realistically, it's what it's all about. So yeah. I mean, we go out and we do what we do and we do a great job of it, but when we're able to make it kind of come around to where it further impacts the community, that's what makes it really worth it. Thank you both so, so much for being here today. We Thank really you. appreciate you. Yep. Appreciate Thank you. it. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Of course, and this segment has been sponsored by WireNet Home Services. Well, there's still a lot to talk about on Loving Living Local this morning. Let's check in with Kenny on what she has next. Hey, Kenny.